you don't have to study for long hours every day to get good results. Because even me myself, I don't study every day. I rather to socialize with people, hang out with friends, and I tend to prioritize my responsibilities over my studies. Which I held a few leadership positions in Form Five. That I had to do a lot of preparation work after school. So this causes me to be sleep deprived. That I accidentally. Step through certain classes, so this show you that I'm not a person who study kau kau to have improvement constantly. I'm a person who use those effective way of studying that make me to have improvement constantly. So how to study smart but not study hard? In this video, I will be showing you the problems that most students face and what's the solution to it. And that solution is our effective studying method. This table is in description and also the timestamp, so you can skip to those specific problem or specific tip. The most common problem that students face is procrastination. All humans, we tend to think like, I still got time, so like four or five months before SPM. If I study now, confirm that time I forgot one. But when SPM is approaching, we will feel very stressed because there's so much info that we have to cram in in such a short period of time. So the solution for this is to make simplified note and make it as a habit. Simplified note as in more diagrams. Less words, and all the words are just labeling or just one sentence to conclude that diagram. Why do we need to make simplified notes? Because simplified notes is trying to make your brain to understand the topic instead of memorizing. Understanding the syllabus can make it stays longer in your brain compared to memorizing. And when you are trying to look back on the notes, you will feel much more motivated than to look back on reference books which cram a lot of words. Because simplified notes have more visuals and in organized manners. So how to make simplified notes? When you first time making notes, you confirm will have a lot of words. It's like you just take out what is on reference book and you hunt them in. My first note looks very compact with lots of words, but when you did the second time, it started to reduce in words and have more visuals, diagrams, drawings, and so on. And the more you practice it. You will know how to summarize the whole chapter in just one or few pages, just like this this diagram here, that I summarize the whole chapter to chemistry, carbon compounds, all the reaction, how they relate to each other, and what is the chemical reaction in their own homologous series in just one page. And how to know your simplified note is good enough is when you are teaching people, they could understand. That means that your notes is simplified enough. And understandable. The second solution for this problem is to have active recall. Active recall is to do exercises every time after you understand that topic. Do those model test people. But when you're doing tests, try to do questions from MRSM or SBP. Those hard questions, because we don't have time to do easy questions. When you know how to do hard question, automatically those easy questions you know how to do already. Actually, how I survive in uni with complicated lecture notes. And even when they talk, I also don't understand. Is I watch YouTube, I make my own simplified notes. I teach people, which is the active recall. And just by teaching people, I get to maintain 4.0. Even though I skip tutorials, which is homework. So actually, teaching people is the best way to improve yourself and get those info organized in your brain. And the fourth solution is space repetition. Space repetition is to repeatedly study the topic. Even though you have studied once, something that I missed out is that human has this forgetting curve that we will forget the stuff that we learn after a few days. It's due to interference. Like when we learn a lot of stuff in one day, the new information that trying to get into our brain will replace the old information that is in our brain. Or those old information trying to restrict those new information staying in your brain. Because space repetition can make sure the info in your short term memory enter long term memory. That's why space repetition is encouraged, which is by going through notes and doing exercises repeatedly. The second problem which I commonly face is. Feeling unmotivated, overwhelmed, or tired after school. So the solution for this problem is: if you feel extremely tired, then go ahead, take a nap, thirty minutes, not longer than one hour. If you plan to study long hours in that day, make sure there's breaks in between, which is using Pomodoro technique: twenty-five minutes of studying and five minutes of break. If you feel like you can study longer, then forty-five minutes of studying, fifty minutes of break. The studies proven that our peak of concentration. Would be only lasting for twenty-five to thirty minutes, and after that, it will be dropping. That's why you will feel like it's getting more sleepy, or you are dozing off along the way. 
Second solution is to have a study partner to motivate you. So you guys go to library together and teach each other or discuss the syllabus so that you are making studying as a regular habit. Third solution is to change study environment. Studies proven that if to change study environment, we will feel more concentrate and focus. Just like when you are studying at home in the room, you feel sleepy. But when you change to library, even though it's noisier at library, you can just plug in your earphone and listen to non-vocal music because it also helps in concentration. The third problem would be having distractions from social media. Like we just can't stop replying to friends' messages or we just can't stop watching YouTube videos. So the solution for this is to have screen time management app or might as well you just put your phone away, power off or delete those apps which distract you the most. I deleted YouTube and Instagram because that consumes most of my time. Second solution is to have to-do lists. The first thing in the morning is to plan what you're gonna do in that day or the night before and just keep reminding yourself you have to do this 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 tomorrow so the first thing you wake up is to start a productive day instead of grabbing your phone and start swiping instagram or youtube in the meantime you can't stuff too many things to do in one day you just make sure that you have regular practice on and math like one or two questions each day is way enough and revising one chapter of bio or even revising a few subtopics if you have tuition it's even better tuition is is equal to revision but make sure you're going to the right tuition which have experienced teacher and students there the people around you are there to study third solution is to get motivation you can get it from youtube video or you can print out a motivation code which you feel like oh this one relatable then you print out print big big stick cow cow on the wall in front of you on the study table whenever you feel like you want to grab the phone you just look at the motivation code you straight think of what's your goals for svm and tell yourself that you don't have enough time treasure the time now don't feel guilty when things had happened you set such a high goal but now you are still slacking off we can't predict what will happen in future if you are aiming to get into medical line study medicine pharmacy they need to get at least b for biochemistry physics and math if the results come out you get c then you have to retake what if when you are trying to retake SPM in this year and the SPM postpone which makes you enter degree later one year compared to the others so now treasure the time because you only have one chance to take SPM but social media will always be there the fourth problem is having responsibilities and hobbies which consume most of your time for revision so the solution for this would be time managing Manage your time by having a structured timetable. You schedule your time. Just make sure there's constant progress for studies and those other activities. But that depends on each person. Some people like to have flexible time, which is using to-do lists. And some people like to have a rigid and structured timetable. You can try it on both and see which one gives you the best results then stick to that one. Like, I'll manage my time better when I have a structured timetable. Even though sometimes I can't make sure that I finish all the stuff that I plan within the time limit, but at least I have progress. So make sure there's balance in both things. You can't study every day gao gao. You also can't do your hobbies until you forgot to study. Relationship problem. When relationship in bad terms, it will occupy our mind and the info just can't enter our brain. I could totally understand that because I experienced when I'm having exam in Point 4. So the best solution that I do during that time, I share my feelings, my thoughts to the right people. Because sometimes when we get reassurance accompanied by people who care about us, we will start to appreciate our self-worth. But time heals. So why not think it in this way? Those bad things happens is to make you grow mentally stronger. So in the first few weeks, you will feel extremely emotional, it's fine. But as time goes, you have to head up, step up the game and start to set clear specific goals. At that time, I was using this tactic, it's time to view my studies seriously. So I set a clear specific goal, which is like each subject I need to improve to this grade. The last problem would be having high expectation by parents or by you who set such a high goal for yourself, which make you feel not confident enough to achieve them. And that indirectly demotivate you on studying. Remind yourself to try your best. As human 
weakness is to compare ourselves with other people excellent in those fields. Like why they don't study every day but they can still score out because they are studying smart or they started much earlier they have good base, better to compare you with yourself. Can you can compare with others, make it as a motivation but not a stress. Believe in yourself, tell yourself that you can do it. A Nokia from PD3 only 2A, from 4 only a few A's, and from 5 only getting a better results can do it. Why can't you? Just make sure you don't give up and there's improvement bit by bit along the way. Good things take time, slowly but surely. Along the way, don't afraid of failure. You might have improved, your result might even drop. Just make sure the next time you have to get better. Because successful people in this world, you don't know how many failures they experience until now that they are successful because we just admire of their success without seeing how much they went through. Just make sure you learn from mistakes. The next time, try your best to avoid them. It always seemed impossible until it is done. When I showed my friend with the results I got before I started to use effective way of studying, they couldn't imagine that these two results are from the same person. Remember, there's no elevators to success. Take the stairs. Make sure you have improvement along the way. Thank you for watching.